I was sure she was going to walk out. I did not understand the magnitude of the situation until well, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I was at work in Massachusetts, and I was driving back, and I'm, I'm calling her and asking for information. She's like, I don't have any information. And I'm like, why am I getting better information off of AM news radio than I am from you? You're standing right there. I was about a mile from Newtown when they came out and said, 20 children have been killed, six adults, and it struck me, and I, thank God it was only a mile from there because if I had been driving on 84, you know, I'd run the car off the road because it was just, it was such a disturbing, disconcerting moment. Eventually a knock came, it was a police officer, and finally unlocked the door and there was a SWAT team. I grabbed two of my students' hands, um, the SWAT team members each grabbed a hand or two, um, and we fled out the back of the school. Caitlin Roig DeBellis and her 15 first graders all survived. Three of the five first grade classrooms escaped unharmed that day. In the other two, a different story. They finally said, if you're in this room and you're waiting, there's, you know. Your it. loved one's not coming back. Among the 20 children and six educators who died that day, I think there's not a minute, not a second of any day that goes by where somewhere in my head I'm thinking, uh, I don't have my daughter Aviel, and you know, she, she's gone. That's always in my head. It's every second of every day that she's not with me, and that's enough. Literally days after we lost her, we said, we have to do something. It's I, just in our nature. It may have even been that very day. Yeah. I remember asking, why would somebody walk into the school and kill my child? I need to know that answer. I have to have that answer. Do you think there is always a why? Because we don't know the answer doesn't mean there isn't a cause. Yeah. Even before Aviel's funeral, her parents set off on a mission to honor her by searching for answers. They weren't the only ones. You know, we can't go back in time, but we, we can take what we've learned and honor our daughter by doing something with it. We were kind of faced with, do you want to do something or do you want to do nothing? And there was no question. <laughs> 